In this video we will be making a clock face very easily using move to center, centering tools, variable text tool, numeric edit tool and circular array tool using Lightburn. If you would like me to make more of these videos please remember to like and subscribe to encourage me to do more. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do here is make a circle for our clock face, 200 millimetres by 200 millimetres. Clicking this black cross icon with a dot in the middle will ensure that your project is perfectly centred in the middle of your project area. Making an 8 millimetre by 8 millimetre hole for the spindle for your clock workings. And again, making sure it is central on your screen. Using the text tool to create a D, a D, which I will use in the variable text. Place this approximately where you need it to be, then use your vertical align tool. Using the numerical edits tool, switch from normal to serial number for the DD. Circular array tool next, making sure the numbers are as you see them on screen. And changing the Y axis to match your particular laser and bed size. Clicking the test tool in the variable text section, we can see all the numbers change accordingly apart from the one at midnight or midday. So we will bake it in to a permanent situation and manually change the 00 to 12. We will next make some minute marks for the clock face using the circular array tool. So we do this by um, creating a mark for the first position and making sure it's perfectly centred on the clock face before we start. Into the circular array tool now and make a few changes to the settings you can see on the screen. Paying close attention again to the Y axis being correct for your particular bed size. You can see that uh, we have to change the rotate option to get the check marks all facing the correct way. Right, we're going to do more or less the same thing but uh, using thinner marks for all the minutes in between. Again inside the circular array tool, uh, make a few slight changes. Uh, one of them being you need 60 check marks um, for all the separate minutes so we'll change that number to 60 and there you have it next we will remove uh, all the thinner check marks that are at the five minute sections because they are no longer needed so we'll just select each one while holding the shift key and um, remove them. When they are all selected use the backspace or the delete key on your keyboard to delete them. 
switch from line mode to fill mode and you can see I have uh, forgotten to change the outside line to a different layer color for cutting once I switch this to the red layer which I'll use for cutting the whole thing out um, that removes the black background uh, do the same for the spindle hole in the middle change that to the cut layer and uh, that's it this is what it's going to look like very very easy to do once you know how to use your tools if you feel your numbers need to be uh, slightly made smaller or larger on your clock face just select them all while holding down your shift key on your keyboard group all of the numbers together use one of the corner adjusters and hold down a control key slide your mouse forwards and backwards and you'll be able to change the size therefore the position of the numbers on your clock face and there we have it really really easy if you've liked what you've seen please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and thanks for watching